Hi, this is Tammy. This video and this channel's content is meant for those that are 18 and over. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back today to share with you um, my crown pokey tools and I'm going to show you how I attach the crown to the scribe pen and then also I have some information about the um, the pens and things that you can use for the um, alphabet pens so let's start with the pokey tool the crown pokey tool so so this is the first one or one of the first ones I've made so three I've given out so far one of them I shared in a video but I haven't posted that video yet and then the other two I didn't do videos on them but they went to Marissa and also to um, to Anna but I love them I love adding the crown because it you know adds bling and I, I love bling um, so I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to do the whole thing I will put Anna, a link to Anna's video in the description box and Anna is Serenity Creations um, she did a tutorial on how she makes the pokey tools um, <clears throat> or I call them piercers um, the only thing I'm going to do is share with you how I attach the crown to the scribe pen so I use the jewelry shop findings that's the brand um, scribe pens and these are $2.99 at Hobby Lobby I usually get them when they're half off although I have not seen them at all lately I think you know everybody's buying them um, I know some ladies have ordered some like skewers or meat piercers or something like that off of Amazon but I looked and they're like in quantities of 30 and I I don't need that many <laughs> I, don't, I don't need that many so I just bought a few packs from Hobby Lobby and um, and that's it. I don't think I'll be making any more than that. But this is the pin. It has this little stopper on it. So I pull that off and make sure you save that because I do use that once I glue all my beads on. Um, I put that stopper on and I push it, <clears throat> I push it down really far so that it, um, helps hold the beads in place while they're drying. Um, I also use the French Regalia Crowns number three. And these are designed by uh, Frank Garcia for uh, Prima, and they're the memory hardware brand. And they look like this, so you get um, five in a pack. And I get mine from Frank Studio. Here's another pack right here, and they are six ninety nine at Frank Studio. Um, so they look like that. I love them. They have a loop and a jump ring on them. So I don't use this loop on the scribe pen. I don't use that to dangle things from. I dangle them off of the crown. But you could totally use the loop here if you want to. Um, what we're doing isn't actually, it covers it up somewhat, but it's still usable if you do want to use that. So I still use E6000 and I use these tiny little iridescent beads that I found at um, the Dollar Tree. And they are acrylic. But they are the perfect size for what I for what I want them to do. So basically, I'm going to glue it onto the scribe pen. Haven't added any glue yet, but I'm going to glue it onto the scribe pen. Add glue around the bead, and then slide the crown on from the bottom, making sure that I'm not also gluing that jump ring. And that's pretty much it. So I'll do this one really quickly. <coughs> I don't have the small tube of E6000. I usually just buy the big ones. And so I'm just going to put some glue here on the pen itself. And not a whole lot because this bead doesn't have a big hole in it. So most of what you're putting on the on the pen is going to end up getting pushed up. Which is fine you're not gonna actually see that so you could wipe it off or you could leave it it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see that once the crown is on and then I just take the um, the E6000 and the scribe pen and I'm just gonna roll that little iridescent bead in the glue just to cover it with the E6000 And there's a good coverage. I think this side right here is missing some. Yeah, that's good. 
<laughs> and if you want to like smooth it out or, or distribute it more evenly or anything, you can just use like a toothpick or some other kind of little pick. Okay, and then again, like I said, I take the crown and I put it on from the bottom up. And I'm making sure that that um, jump ring is not in the way and isn't going to get glued. And then I'm just going to slide this bead right down through the crown. And if there's any glue that shows through the, um, the points in the crown, I'm just going to wipe that out while it's still wet and you can see it's crooked right now but that's okay so I'm just cleaning up the glue okay so now I'm just going to take the crown and just kind of like straighten it out and you can see it if I hadn't put any glue the crown would just slip right over that bead but because I added the glue it the glue attaches right away to the sides of the crown and um, and adheres it so I'm going to these little bead mats from the Dollar Tree are perfect if you have a small one even if you have a larger one because it has a channel that the crown is going to sit in and then this part down here is lifted so um, I can just sit it in this tray to dry and I, I'll leave it alone for like about a half an hour. So this one I did earlier today. And you can see it's dried. So um, another thing that I'll do like maybe like 10-15 minutes after you know I set it in the tray. I'll come back and kind of like straighten out the the crown a little bit. And because it is going to, because the, the glue is wet, the crown is, is kind of heavy. It is going to shift a little bit. So you can do that you know while it's drying just straighten it out and then when when it's completely dry it'll be straight or if you want it to be crooked or leaning or something like that you can do that as well but um, that's what I do you can pretty much lean it on anything and let it dry um, but again you're gonna have to go back a few times and straighten out the crown before it gets completely dry and now this one I made about a month ago and you can see my crown does move but it is glued it's glued down and it doesn't come off I'm sure I could pull it off if I pulled really hard but um, it's not gonna go anywhere and it does stay a little bit pliable so that is how I attach the crown to the scribe pin um, so let me move this aside and then I will show you the um, the alphabet pens okay so now on to the alphabet or word pens so these are inspired by um, some embellishment that Jen Hadfield came out with on her latest line I'm not even sure what the line is called um, but I first saw them um, I actually didn't look at that line when I was at Frank's studio but he apparently had them or has them in his store um, I first saw them on a video that Jenny who is crafty Hilo girl here on YouTube that she did and she was sharing that she actually did a post on Instagram and then she also did a video here on YouTube and I was like oh those are super those are really cute and she was explaining where she saw them and then um but she used regular safety pins so I had asked her well how do you attach them <laughs> but you know most likely if you're using these for an embellishment you're probably going to glue it down or maybe if you're going to use it as a dangle, you're going to hang it from the looped end at the bottom or maybe from this top, this side at the top. But then I was telling her about um, coilless safety pins. So these are coilless safety pins and they look like this. And I got this pack. There's 40 in the pack. I got this from Walmart for $2.47. Um, they look like this as compared to a regular safety pin which looks like this so this is the coil so the coilless ones don't have that coil it's just a bend in the pin um, so yeah so that's the difference so I made these um, little word pins with the coilless um, pins or safety pins 
and they came out really cute the only thing is that like this one you here you can see that I used some of the um, Heishi or Heishi beads from Michaels it the hole in that bead is kind of is a lot larger than the the pen size so it has no problem coming around that bend and moving down so then that kind of messes up your you know your word or your layout you can always add some e6000 or some um, glossy accents and then also maybe if you tie uh, put some charms or tie a piece of lace or ribbon or tool at the end that will also stop it from moving but they came out cute I haven't finished them I haven't um, added the charms and things like that but they are really cute um, and I can still open them like a regular safety pen and then I can pin it to something um, uh, I don't have anything <laughs> So like I'm gonna pin it to something fabric I can still use the pin portion to pin it to that thing and then you would still see the the word um, the word bead um, so like I said I did get those when I looked online they had my store said that they had them also in black which would have been really not really cute but when I got to the store they did not have black and I didn't see online that they had gold at all um, but you can uncoil a regular safety pin so I got like a pack of it was either 50 or 100 of these from like a local dollar store and um, they are not that thick metal so you can open it up and here's one that I did uncoil so you can open it up and I'm just using my fingers and flatten it out and then at this point I will use a jewelry tool so I'm just using some um, needle nose pliers so I'm just going to pin to pinch it where that coil is and then just bring it down so I'm just trying to flatten it out and then I was looking online to see if I could you know looking for the coilless safety pins and um actually the kilt pins is what I really want so this style right here is a kilt pin um, these I've had in my stash for a long time I got them at Michaels they normally don't have this little disc on them so they'll just usually look like this actually I have one so what I really wanted was the kilt pin so these are the the kilt pins they look like that um, those are the ones that I really want to use not just a regular safety pin because I think those look cuter but so here is the um, safety pin that I have uncoiled and it's just a long so now if I were to fold this back at the regular line that it at the bend that it had it would actually be too long it would this part would come way over where it actually should under go underneath and close the pin but that's a good thing because now you can make this longer than the original pin so I'm going to just use some um, round nose pliers and I'm going to bend it and that's too short because you see it won't close so I need to bend it up a little higher so I'm using the the bend and the round nose plier to create the bend and the pin after I straightened it out that's still a little too short there we go okay let me flatten this part out some now that's too okay so now that closes and if I compare it to um, the original size of the of the safety pin you can see that it is a little bit longer and that means you can probably get another one to two beads on there where you you know that you couldn't fit on it with it coiled so that's the plus side of using um, un of uncoiling a regular safety pin the other plus side is you probably have a have them in your stash already and they also come in gold 
and maybe some other colors <laughs> so you can just use what you already have uncoil them if you want this look um, and then go from there or you can you know just these are not expensive at all 247 for a pack of 40 is is very very inexpensive for the uncoiled ones or you can leave them coiled if you don't want to have to kind of like deal with or solve the problem with the beads going over that coil um, I did try to uncoil one of the kilt pins and like I said I've had these in my stash for a while and I was able to but um, and I didn't finish working with it but I need to straighten this part out right here because I don't like the way that looks and then I also ended up cutting it because it was a lot longer than um, than the original size so I ended up cutting it but I cut it on an angle so that I'm so that it's still a little sharp and I am still able to pin it to something if I wanted to but the good thing about these which like I said I got these from Michaels ages ago but when I got them I got them with the int intention of pulling this piece off and then I can um, use like I think it's a three-quarter um, around punch size I could use to punch out any kind of fabric and then cover this part or put a flower there or whatever and then decorate it that way so I love these and then here's some other ones that I had that I had already used some embossing powder on them to color them to make them a different color so yeah so I have those so um you are able to I didn't try this one this is another one that came from Michaels but um, these uh, coilless safety pins they are the metal is a lot thicker is a heavier weight than the safety the regular safety pins that I had so even when I wanted to add the beads I had to stretch it out and I'm using a lot more pressure than I had to use on the regular safety pin I had to stretch it out just so that I could get the beads on there and then um, you know put that curve back in there and then close it when I was done um, I did see on Etsy someone had the um, the kilt pins and they sold them straight so they sold them and be careful because they are pointy and they will stick you <laughs> if you're not careful so be careful of that point so some I saw them on Etsy and there was a seller I can't even remember who they just had the kilt pins they sold them straight like this but they were kind of like I said I already had some and I can uncoil them so I didn't even but I noticed that and I was like huh so yeah they sold them like this and then this way you can beat it up however you want put whatever word but again if you're gonna close it you have to make sure that you leave a, leave enough length that it can fold back and then clip under the the cap part but this is an easier way to get your beads on there and like this one this wire is way thicker than um, than these but I'm sure I could still get my small word beads on here let's see I will use <clears throat> I'm just gonna test it I'm not even gonna put any other kind of beads but I just want to see so yeah they fit fine um they fit on they fit they slide on here fine these are the smaller ones that are the bead des, uh, bead design co brand from um, from Hobby Lobby But you can also use larger beads where you couldn't you really use larger beads on the safety pins you can use larger beads on the um, on the kilt pins and they would still look fine so like this I think is too small for this for this size pin um, so I would use the um, some of the larger beads alphabet beads that I have okay so then the last thing I'm going to show is um, how I actually uncoiled beaded and then recoiled a pin now this first one uh, you can see I have the same word on them um, I use these 
and they're not that big they're probably like a six millimeter little round acrylic bead on either end and it was still too long for the for this pen and these pens are um about one and three quarter inches so maybe if you had a two inch pen it would work and you can see i tried to coil it back right here but the bead was in the way so it came out like hunched like that so instead of using those um, beads, I just use some of the Heishi beads. So these are really cool because they add color, but they're thin, so they're not adding too much um, bulk to either end of your pen. So that's the one, and this one is one that I uncoiled, loaded the beads on, and then recoiled it. So I'm going to show you how I did that really quick. So you just take a regular safety pen. And I'm just going to uncoil it. And like I said, my these are really th um, lightweight wire. So I can actually do this with my hand. But it's easier to do it with a tool. And so I'm uncoiling it and kind of flattening it out. And flattening, flattening out those curves so that it's easier for me to get my beads over it. And then I'm just going to load up the beads. So I'm just going to spell the same word. And already pulled the the um, the beads out. I um I have some colorful beads, but they're larger than these. So I tried to put the word create, and it just it was too big, even without any um, decorative beads on the sides. So it all depends on the size of your beads, what words you can spell. I guess I could have done a shorter word, and it would have fit with those. Those are pretty because they're really colorful instead of just being, you know, black and white. But these are cute too. Okay, so here are, here's my word. It's spelled right. <laughs> and then I put on my little spacers on either end. So now I'm going to recoil it. So I'm just going to have the pen. Um... And I'm going to turn it facing me so that the point of the pin is facing me. And I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to create a loop. So I'm going to grab it like right above where those spacer beads are because that is pretty much where the coil was. You could even like, like make a little mark on it where the coil is before you uncoil it if you want to. But um, I don't think that's necessary. So I'm just going to um, grab grab it, grab that area with my round nose plier, and then I'm going to grab the wire, and again, be careful because it has a sharp point on the end, and I'm going to basically wrap it around the tool. So I'm using, I'm grasping the wire with my round nose plier, and I'm using my fingers to push the pin around the round nose pliers. You could use another tool, um, but I find it this is easier. So I'm, I already have a small loop there. I, of course that's way too big and that's not where I'm going to leave that, but that's the beginning of the loop. So now to finish the loop, all I need to do is bring this over one more time and then close it. But again, this is too big, so I'm going to um, use my pliers to pull this in and it's closing up the loop and then I'm gonna take the pliers so you can see right here where the um, where the wire crosses that's where I'm gonna gr I'm gonna insert my round nose pliers into the loop again right at that area and I'm gonna pinch and then I'm going to pull the wire down again against the tool. So you're basically using the tool for its intended purpose, which is to help you create loops. And um, so you're not trying to do it <clears throat> on your own with your, you know, without anything. So you're using the round, the roundness of the tool and, um, and the wire. So there you go. And then you can just clip it back into the pen and close it back up. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time just in case anything was off camera. 
So here's my safety pin and I'm going to first uncoil it and for that I just use some needle nose pliers. And I'm just uncoiling it and I'm using the flat part of the pli pliers to kind of flatten out the wire to get rid of those curves so that I can get my beads on really easy. Okay, and then let me put on my spacer beads and then my alphabet beads and I didn't put them in order. Okay. And then I'm going to use my round nose pliers to put the loop or the coil back into the pen. So, okay, so that's loaded now. And now I'm going to push these down, grab my round nose pliers, pinch the end of the wire where the end of the beads are is and then I'm going to grab the wire with my other hand or you can use your flat nose pliers also to do this but for me it's I just find it easier to use my fingers okay so <clears throat> I'm pushing the long wire with the pin so you can see right now <clears throat> after I uncoiled it that that pin the stick part of the pin is longer than the cap so I couldn't even put this back I couldn't even close it if I wanted to not like this I'd either have to make the pin longer or my loop lower um, I'm sorry either the the curve lower so that it would close um, or either reloop it so if you were not if you weren't gonna recoil it and just leave it as just a loop you'd have to do something so that you could close the pin because right now you can't close it okay but that's good because we are coiling it so um, um, I'm bringing the wire to the right of my words that are on the pin and I'm just following the curve in my tool in the round nose pliers to create that bend and the pin so I'm just using the tool to kind of close up that coil and now I'm going to grab the other side right where the, the coil right where the loop closes and meets the other end of the pin so right here I'm going to put my tool right here And then I'm going to pinch it and then I'm going to pull down this part of the wire to finish and close off that coil. And now you can see that the pointy part of the pin is now lower and now I can close it um, and insert it into the top part of the pin. And now my loop, my coil is back. And my beads are not going to go past the coil. So, so cute. So, different ways that you can create these. Um, easy to create. Very fun to create. You can use regular pens and not coil them and just put the beads on the pointy part of the pen. Or uncoil them and then just put the beads on and leave it that way. Or either put it on and then recoil it or use the coilless ones and and um you know and the, and just to be fair about the coilless ones like this one here like i showed you earlier it has a larger bead on the end so once i put that curve back into the pen and i close it that bead won't come past the curve so this one's not going to go anywhere it's not going to move um <clears throat> like the like this one did and that's only because this has a larger hole that it can get around the curve easier. So that's
that's it that is my fun play time with these word beads and they are super fun to make different ways that you can make them different pins and things and um again try to use what you have and just do the uncoiling and recoiling but you don't have to do that you can just use the pin the way they come and then just put your beads on this side and then just close this side and then depending on what project you're going to use it on it might be something that you clip onto something or you glue onto something or maybe use it as a dangle you put a jump ring and then you hang it and then you don't really care what side of the pen the beads are on very easy <clears throat> um, I hope you give it a try these are fun and thank you Jenny for showing them because I did not see them and I guess thank you to Jen Hadfield because these are really really cute embellishments so thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day bye